Hello guys, today I'm gonna make you a quick video about how to play a 200 frost DK in the pre-patch so that you can have some fun with it. First off, the talents. This is gonna be our 200 frost DK build. So on the left side we have pretty much regularly our CC, sacrificial pact. We have the longer dead grip, easier to grip people who are far away. Death and Decay, slow AoE, bursting, it's necessary so that we slow the enemies in one place when we grip them in. Gloom Ward, absorbs have a bigger effect on us. AMS is basically stronger if you use it. I use Icy Talons even for two-handed builds because it means that you get more chance to get Killing Machine. Hence we have Smoothering Offense. This increases two additional times, so two more stacks for Icy Talons. So we have bigger chance to proc this, the Icy Death Torrent. We have a bigger chance to proc Killing Machine. So it's a very good combo to use even for two-handed. Now on the left side I see some people are going for Osmosis, but I personally I like Blood Draw because this is a very good defensive, you get 10% uh, damage reduction, you instantly heal a bit, and your death strike cost is reduced by 10 for 8 seconds. So if really necessary you can spam death strikes with 25 runic costs. And I think it's a better defensive than Osmosis. So it's your choice, both are viable. I stay with Blood Draw for now. That I waste uh, one point on suppression just for AoE damage reduction 3% and an additional 6. I think this is a waste of talent point. So I rather go this way. Taking this as well to get 6% increased armor and 3% reduced chance to get critically hit. It's not terrible, but I rather take the leech. The leech will always heal you a tiny bit. Abomination Limb can be used defensively to reduce damage they deal to you now. Now we have Null Magic, which reduces magic damage taken and magic effects that are cast on you. A Stygian Shell, I was actually using this for a while in Arena. Not using Gloom Ward, but this, you can do that as well. But if you use Spell Warden, Prestigian Shell is gonna become useless because it's still gonna cast only on one target. But if you use no Spell Warden, then it's properly gonna cast on yourself, the biggest shield, and on two nearby targets. Friendly, it can be even pets. Now on the right side, we got Chill Streak, Empower Rune Weapon, and the usual. Ice Cap I'm using because that way I have 45 seconds on Pillar of Frost. Just like Strangulate, so I have much more windows to burst. Enduring Strength, it's very good because it's gonna give you some burst even after your burst is done. You will have more strength, you will have more chance to still hit hard. Frost Valve is a must, dealing some damage and increasing your mastery. I'm using Absolute Zero because you can use this both offensively and defensively, so if you grip everyone together you can freeze them immediately and just try to burst. Or if somebody is really low HP and you want to freeze everyone to save his life. Now on this side we have obliteration so that you get killing machine and 100% obliterate crit. Arctic Assault gives you glacial advance so you get razor eyes stacks. Same with Avalanche, it's a very good thing to apply Razor Eyes. Shattering Blade with Shattered Frost to deal some AoE. It's not really necessary to play Dual Wheel to stack up Razor Eyes. Arctic Assault, and when you're bursting with Fuller Frost, it's gonna stack up pretty fast. Additionally, you get Howling Blast, the procs. So Avalanche is gonna give you as well Razor Eyes. And yeah, that's it and some out attack icy death torrents are pretty good. Regarding PvP talents against casters, I'm mostly using Spell Warden against heavy CC comps as well. Like let's say there's a druid who loves to spam cyclone or 
fear or whatever, stun, disorient. If I see that the other player is really going low on HP and they want to CC my healer, then sometimes I put it on my healer, sometimes if they are heavy bursting the other DPS, then I put it on him. So it's really good. PvP talent to assist people with anti-magic show. Now the other things I'm using is blood force against heavy melee comps or too many pets and delirium against mages let's say it's very good in some cases so that they cannot run away if you are like two melee people or I was using it exactly because I faced two melee like a DH and a warrior and I didn't want them to be able to charge too much and fell rush. But yeah, mostly I'm using Spell Warden though. Because that way I can, even if we are two melees, I can give this. Let's say it's a warrior, I give it to the warrior. So he's not getting CC'd and I use this advance so I cannot get slowed. And I got Rate Walk to get out of roots. Strangulate, I use it always, and that of winter as well, because we need the stun. So each 30 seconds we can stun people. Regarding stats, we go Mastery vs Haste. Haste affects your global cooldown. I love to have global cooldown around 121 and 125. You can choose between that range which one you like. I like it if it's at least 123 or less. Of course, the more haste you go, probably you will have to sacrifice some mastery and versatility. Therefore, you will lose a bit of damage. Versatility, you can go up to 40% if you really wish, but focus mostly on mastery. I'm still using the 4 tier set bonus, Rune of the Fallen Crusader. And there's nothing else to talk about here. Now I'm gonna show you the rotation and give you some tips. So what I usually do when arena starts, let's say these are two DPS running at me. I chain of ice them, I put down that in the K, grip in the healer, I blind them, remorseless winter, chill streak, burst, holding blast to dot everyone, and I get my first stack for killing machine. Silence healer, immediately his stun is over. Now as you see, I'm stacking up as fast as possible the obliterate crits, to get the bone grinder 20% increase frost damage now if i see that they try to run away i grip them back or i frost worm to stun them again even if it's just for a brief moment mostly i grip the healer back or I attack the healer directly in the whole game you're repeating this try to death and decay grip in the healer try to deal aoe damage Try to stun with the Remorseless Winter, CC the healer, or just go on the healer when you dead grip. So basically that's it. I'm gonna show you shortly just the macros I have. And that's it for this video. I will leave after this message even some further explanation if you want to listen and watch. If not, then thanks for watching. I hope this was informative to you. That you learned something if not you can leave a comment below if i have to maybe explain a bit more detailed the best is to watch my videos how i play and try to figure out in which situation what i'm doing so that in the game macro it puts down where your mouse is instantly lich born macro to self heal with dead coil and uses health stone AMZ puts down where your cursor is, the anti-magic shell. And when you click it, you write it in the instance, party, in the chat. This is a macro, you can write party 1 or 2 to put AMS on them. Strangulate, focus, or you can write arena 1, 2, 3. Also, you inform your party members in the chat. Same with mind freeze, arena 1, 2, 3. Or just write focus my obliterate macro to taunt the enemy pet. It puts a school on the enemy target if you're in a group outside the arena. And the start attack that if you lose the enemy target, you will automatically target someone. Dead coil macro, if I lose target, 
it's gonna automatically target someone like a hunter if they use fake death and the burst macro casting pillar of frost abomination limb Saltwater Potion is to increase the damage in Battleground if you have the potion. And the cast sequence is not important anymore because we have only one Empower Rune weapon. You can leave that part out. So basically, how are you gonna play a Death Knight? Mostly spamming Obliterate Frost Strike. Obliterate has priority if you have Killing Machine. Uh, holding Blast. You saw I was doing it only when the first time I am trying to burst to get the first obliterate crit if I didn't have it procced already. Sometimes I proc uh, rhyme with my first hit. So I dot them first, then I try to set up everything. Now, uh, you always try to use Death and Decay because with that and decay, you're gonna get cleaving strikes. So you will hit two additional targets. And as you see, I hit two dummies at once. So it's very important that any time you really want to deal damage, you try to that and decay, grip in or the healer or the DPS. But before you try to grip somebody, you're gonna remorseless winter. And then you grip him in, let's say, and since you already put down Death and Decay, you're gonna slow them. Maybe you can stay close to them so that the Remorseless Winter procs on them and they get frozen. Now I always try to grip the healer if possible to blind and silence them. If not, I try to get at least close to blind or silence. There are many scenarios like you need to get the feel of it. In any case, any opener you do, you go dead and decay, remorseless winter, and just try to get some procs and to stun them with the remorseless winter so that you have a chance to strangulate. These are runs that you do when you don't have, let's say, I don't have blinding sleet, it's on cooldown, this is on cooldown, pillar of frost is on cooldown, then I'm just gonna do this dead and decay and just deal damage as much cleave as possible. If you have Remorseless Winter, you have Strangulate, try to set up with these two abilities a combo. Death and Decay, you're already using Remorseless Winter. You grip in the guy, you try to stun him. If you get it off, yes. If not, Strangulate him if this guy is pretty low in HP. Just keep dealing damage. It's really not hard to play Frost at night. But you have to get used to it, what you do when you do. Let's say I already am even capable to know, oh, this guy's gonna use this or that ability. I'm playing my Death Knight since Wrath of the Lich King came out. So the moment Death Knight started to exist in World of Warcraft, I'm playing this character. Of course I'm playing other as well, but this is my main character. So let's say I'm gonna death and decay Remorseless Winter. I'm gonna hit this guy, I try to stun them, I got the stun off. Nice, he trinkets, he tries to run away. I grip him back, I blind him, I chill streak, and now I'm gonna burst. Of course I would silence the healer. And that's it. I hope that this guide helps you and see you in the next video or in the next guide. If you like it, please leave a like and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching, see ya. Beneath the ice and snow, a legend awakens. I am Arthas, the Lich King ruler of the damned master of Frostmoor.